78 degrees with a live look here outside of downtown Indianapolis. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, went out for a run today. When I walked mm -hmm. outside, I said to myself, the first thing I said was, if you can get anything more beautiful than this, then, then bring me there because today was absolutely gorgeous. It really was. It was hard not to just want to be outside yeah. all day. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is joining us. And Ashley, it sounds like we're not finished with that yet either. Not at all. And Phil, when you talk to yourself, do you say it out loud or is this in your head? Just Sometimes a little bit both. I accidentally, usually it's in my head and then I accidentally just say it out loud. Say it out loud uh -huh. Just wondering. Yeah. Your, I, poor, your poor neighbors. <laughs> now I feel like I'm at home, Ashley. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> my wife would say. Yeah. I was just wondering, you know, you say, you say to yourself. Yeah. Um, all right. So, you know, on a day this nice at 81 degrees, I say to myself, is that near normal? <laughs> well, it is. Normal temperatures are set at about 80. So we were seeing temperatures near normal today. Our, our uh, actual high temperatures haven't updated here, but officially at 256, 81 for Indy, 83 Shelbyville, about 81 for Bloomington there. Okay. Looking outside is absolutely gorgeous. We have low humidity, mostly sunny skies, some puffy cumulus clouds out there, but those are starting to dissipate over the area. I'm expecting a beautiful sunset tonight. Sunset absolutely gorgeous happening in the nine o'clock hour for us. And it's one of those weather days and actually a stretch of weather that we'll see here for the next several days. That's just quiet. Upper 70s right now at 78 for Indianapolis, 79 for you in Greenfield there, and you're at 80 for Anderson. Now, temperatures tonight, they're going to remain mild during the evening hours. I mean, it's a perfect evening. Just kind of sit outside for dinner and just enjoy whether you're sitting on your patio or at a restaurant tonight. 70 degree temperatures uh, falling to the mid 70s by 9 p.m. Skies mostly clear. And then tomorrow morning, you'll wake up to temperatures in the 60s for some but the 50s for others. As we look at the numbers here, upper 50s for Indianapolis at about 59 degrees. I want to take you hour by hour through your day on Friday because Friday is a warmer day. The humidity starts to increase a bit. I can't promise a day as dry and humidity as low as you experience today. Tomorrow we see a little rise in humidity, a little rise uh, increase in the heat and definitely an increase um, at times of the cloud cover. By noon, already in the upper 70s, their temperatures reach about 84 degrees for you tomorrow. So 84 uh, filling that heat, of course. Uh, that heat comes with the chance for a few clouds, right? There's moisture in the atmosphere, so clouds begin to thicken over the area. That's a disturbance that slides through that allows us that fantastic weekend that I've been talking about here. Now, I don't think we have rain in the forecast for tomorrow. I think we're going to remain dry throughout the day. There's a slight chance for some areas of seeing a little rain. Tomorrow's forecast. Tomorrow morning, 65 degrees, mild. A great start, a great morning for a run or a walk. By noon, it gets a little warm at 84. That's above normal. It's warmer than what we experienced today and warmer than what we'll have all weekend long. During the evening hours, we're still in the upper 70s, but the air is dry. That's the good news there. Um, you know, I keep saying that my pick of the week, every week I pick one day, um, but this week it was difficult to pick one day because both Saturday and Sunday are absolutely amazing. So I have to cheat just a little bit. Uh, Saturday, 74 degrees, normal high at 82. It's my pick of the week, but guess what? Sunday's my pick of the week as well. Temperatures at 73 degrees. Winds remain light, mostly sunny skies. I couldn't pick because both days are just fantastic. And the Chapman heating and cooling eight-day forecast You'll notice a nice warming trend next week. Although we start out on Monday with uh, temperatures in the upper 70s, you'll notice a quick increase in temperatures and humidity. You know, by Tuesday, I don't have it here on the map, but there is a chance for an isolated shower or storm on Tuesday into Wednesday as we increase that humidity, but the chances are slight. Heat and humidity come back, and by the end of the week next week, it's possible we could see our first 90-degree day of the year so far. We haven't gotten there just yet, but for now, hey, enjoy the comfortable conditions as we head into the weekend and the wonderful weekend numbers mid to low 70s.